today on Montana Dana, me and my new hairdo drive into town and we're doing some much needed grocery shopping because I'm trying a 30 day carnivore reset. I stock up my portable 12 volt ice coat fridge and spend the day doing some lakeside meal prep. Subscribe for more van life and travel content. Good morning, my beautiful friends. Today we're going to talk diet and health a little bit and I just want to open up a conversation. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm going to share what has been working for me, what I'm going to be doing starting January 1st, and you guys can join me if you want, and you don't have to if you don't want to, but health is something that is very important to me. Feeling good is very important to me, and I have kind of hit a good stride where I feel like I'm in the best shape and health of my life. I was basically eating keto and carb cycling, so on my more active days, I would eat carbs. My less active days, I eat keto and that has kept my body in really good shape and I don't have to over exercise I don't have to do a whole lot now I get really addicted to sugar really fast and when I got COVID I was eating lots of lozenges and cough drops and stuff why are they so damn delicious it's criminal. And that totally got me re-addicted to sugar. I wanted it all the time. I've been eating a lot more sugar with the excuse, it's the holidays, I can do what I want. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm going to do a keto reset and I've decided I'm going to do carnivore. No, any sort of diet that completely cuts out food groups, I'm not a big fan of. I was vegan for almost four years and got incredibly ill. Well, I felt great for the first couple years and then got incredibly sick. So I'm not here to promote any specific diet, but I am going to do carnivore for the next 30 days. And here is why. But before I tell you why, I want to show you this really beautiful view. Oh my gosh, check it out. We're in Lake Havasu. Cute. Parked out here by the water, enjoying some sunshine. My legs are real white, like frighteningly white. So why would I go carnivore? Well, my first reason is I want to completely remove sugar from my life. I'm completely addicted to it right now and I crave it and I want it all the time. And I know that once it's out of my system for a couple weeks, then I don't crave it anymore. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is I want to figure out if I have any food sensitivities. So I'm pretty much doing an elimination diet where I just eat carnivore for 30 days. And then I'll slowly, week by week, add in other foods, such as avocado. Such as avocado and other fruits and veggies. And then we'll wait. I want to really just pay attention to my body and how it's responding to these different foods as I add them back in. And then reason number three, I kind of just want to see what all the hype is about. I just want to experiment and see how my body feels. After going vegan and having a belief that it was the best diet for your body and not listening to my body's response to it for several years and being chronically ill and not knowing why, I feel like that would be the same thing if I did carnivore for any extended amount of time but I do think vegan can be a good body reset. I do think carnivore can be a good body reset. Just keeping it simple. What I'm not promoting is a fear of any food. If we're not afraid of carbs. I personally think our bodies are seasonal. You need different things at different times and everybody's body is different. So it's not a one size fits all sort of deal. But carnivore is sounding good to me right now. So I'm going to try it. I actually just got back from the grocery store and bought everything I'll need for the next week. All right, we're heading straight for the meat aisle. I'm going to see if I can find any steaks on sale. And I found these T-bone steaks for $5.97 a pound, which took about $35 off of the total cost and then I got 10 burger patties these are always a good go-to got some organic eggs I usually get organic or free range whatever is on sale at the moment and you can eat cheese on the carnivore diet but I'm doing somewhat of an elimination diet I'm sticking to beef eggs bacon and butter and after the 30 days I'll add cheese back in for a week see how my body reacts and responds I used to be really sensitive to cheese but lately I've been able to eat it with no problems so I just want to try it for 30 days and see how I feel I'm 
also curious to see how long this amount of food will last me. I spent about 85 bucks on this grocery cart right here. I'm also gonna stay away from spices for now. Eventually, obviously, I'll add them back in, but I'm just going to salt my meat and eggs and cook them in either butter or baking grease and just keep it really, really simple. And I haven't been able to cook at all in my setup. I'm traveling full time in a cargo trailer and I bought a little butane stove, but I have yet to buy butane, so I finally broke down today. Went and got some butane and we're gonna cook tonight. And since I don't have a sink in my rig, I'm gonna cook most of it today and just eat it cold or try and reheat it somehow during the week. But I'm gonna do a little bit of meal prep today. Come hang out. starting a new fitness challenge on January 1st. And for the new year, all of my workout programs are 50% off. I have some 12 week programs, eight week programs, they're fitness programs. So you can either get my 12 week challenge, which has in gym and at home workouts, or my summer squeeze, autumn bottom. Those challenges are uh, at home challenges. So when I stopped being vegan, I just decided to eat the standard American diet. And on the left is what my body looks like on the standard American diet. I crack up toward 170 pounds. I'm five foot nine and that put me almost in the obese category. I felt sluggish and icky, did not fit my clothes and just didn't have a whole lot of energy. And then on the right is my body on a whole foods diet that consists of keto with carb cycling. And I've been able to maintain that for the last, oh, let's see, four or five years. And I've just been following my at-home workouts and that has been really successful for me. Not to mention easy to follow while I'm on the road. Now the specific program I'm following is called Curve and Chisel. 50% off for the next couple weeks. So I'll leave you guys a link down below and in the comments. Getting back on track and I hope you will join me. So if you're looking for a workout program, check them out for 50% off. All right, I'm getting hungry, so I need to find my pan. I literally have been eating out every meal or eating charcuterie stuff, meats and cheeses and pickles and olives and stuff like that. And y'all know I love my egg bites. I've been making those for breakfast. Oh yeah. And I'll occasionally make bacon in my waffle maker. It actually turns out really delicious. I just don't have a way to clean it up. So bacon grease doesn't go bad, right? Would not recommend doing this inside. It's very smoky, but it smells delicious. And just one van line makes me lose my will to live. There is bacon with a view and it brings me back. So I've been using my power stations to make my food or I've been eating out. So this is my first time officially cooking in the trailer. I think I'm gonna set up a little picnic area out here and I'm gonna show you my fridge. My fridge is actually in my front seat of the Suburban. It fits perfectly in there. It's in with my power station. So it's just constantly running. So let's see what's in my fridge. So since I started van life i've been rocking an ice co fridge i had one in my sprinter van and they were so kind as to send me a new one it fits in my suburban a little better so i gifted my old one to my dad and this one fits perfectly in my front seat it's a little taller than the other one was but i absolutely love my ice co fridge it's really portable i can pick it up and move it so i can have a picnic somewhere i can bring my food with me and it also runs off of 12 volts which plugs into either your car cigarette lighter or it'll plug into my power station and it takes very little power. It pulls between one and 40 watts depending on how hot it is outside so it doesn't drain my batteries. I love, love, love this fridge. If I just went and bought a regular fridge with a regular wall outlet, even a mini fridge, it would pull a lot more power than this 12 volt fridge. So that's why me and a lot of other van lifers love Ice Co. They have all sorts of different options on their website. You can get a heavy duty one that has a freezer in it. If you want to have frozen food, they have specific models that are for off roading they have all sorts of options on their website so if you're traveling full-time or you just want a fridge to go camping with something for a weekend getaway there's a link in the description and in the comments and it'll take you to the website use the code Montana for your discount and find the perfect portable fridge for you okay let's take a look inside the ice co refrigerator okay so here is the refrigerator I pretty much took everything out but what I love about this fridge is you have this compartment on the side for things that need to stay upright like my cream and I put my kombucha and my condiments in here easy to grab and then I like that it has a divider so I can have my meats separate from my fruits and stuff like that over here I have a bunch of food that I need to eat up in the next couple days it's three days until the new year for me so gonna snack on that stuff and then 
we're on to the carnivore diet. So my eggs fit nicely in here. I have my butter and some egg bites in the bottom here. Lots of room for more snacks. But what I'm loving about the carnivore diet is it's so simple. Look at all that fits right in there. It's really quite convenient. I like having the meat separate from all the rest of my food. So this is perfect. The one thing that's tricky for me with these fridges is that they are deep, so sometimes it's hard to get to the bottom, so I like to lay things sideways so I can really see what's in here. There is our carnivore fridge. The Ice Co fridge keeps it just as cool as any other refrigerator. I keep mine at 35 degrees and it really doesn't pull that much energy out of my Jackery or Vito Man or whatever power station I'm using. As you can see, it's extremely portable. It's really lightweight. I can easily bring it over from my Suburban, have a little picnic, set it up wherever I need it. All of this stuff is ready to cook. I'm going to put this stuff on the top so I make sure I eat it all. I really, really don't like to waste food. Like I'm very serious about it. So we're gonna make sure we eat up all the stuff. By the way, this eggnog yogurt is actually really tasty from Trader Joe's, if you like eggnog anyway. So anything I'm eating in the next couple days, keeping toward the top. And these are by no means unhealthy food, obviously. It's just not carnivore specifically. So I'm going to finish up all the beautiful groceries that I have. We have some delicious honey Greek yogurt, and I'm gonna fit that in there actually. So I'm gonna rearrange a little bit when I'm not holding the camera, but you get the gist. And it's kind of cool. It shows you the recommended temperature for certain foods. For meat, it's zero degrees. So I need to cook my meats quick. That's why I'm going to prepare them so I can keep them at 35 degrees. So I'm gonna cook those all either tonight or tomorrow. We'll see, but. There it is. Love the Ice Co fridge, functions properly. You have your settings over here on the side. You can set it to whatever temperature you want. All right, let's take this back into the front seat and I will show you how we get power. And there you have it. It sits in my front seat. I have my power bank right back here. It's always plugged in, ready to go. I can easily plug it into my cigarette lighter. And this is just what works for me right now, having it in the front seat, as opposed to having it back in the trailer, frees up some space in there. And this one fits perfectly in my front seat and functions properly. I can just pop in here whenever I need a little snack, a little beverage, and easy peasy. Gotta love it. Thanks, Ice Co. Okay, I was out. I'm not gonna use my butane stove. We've had a couple fires in our family. I think a propane heater was the cause of one of them. I just, I don't like flammable things. So I'm gonna wait till I get back to camp tonight to cook my steaks. We're just gonna do some egg bites and cheese and some sausage. So the next couple days, I'm just gonna finish up the groceries I have. I'm not about wasting food not about it. But let me know if you're starting with me. You don't have to do carnivore by any means. There's no evidence that it's healthy for you long term, but I do want to get into ketosis and kick my sugar cravings. So that's what I'm going to do. And I just wanted to open up a conversation. Well, how are you guys feeling about dieting in the new year? I feel like it's important to simultaneously love your beautiful body, no matter what stage it's at, and also feed it with foods that make you feel good. What makes me feel good is gonna be different from what makes you feel good. So figure it out for yourself. Do not follow what I'm doing. I am experimenting a little bit. I know I feel in really good shape with the keto and carb cycling. So I'm just trying something new. Oh, I thought there were two sausages. There's three sausages. My lucky day. And I'm just gonna cook those things in this tiny little griddle. Okay, so that's my sausage story and I'm sticking to it. Egg bites sausages. I'm excited about it. You should feel excited about the food you're going to eat. To eat foods you enjoy. That's the only way it's going to be sustainable. I just so happen to love sausages. So sue me. I kind of accidentally ate carnivore over the summer. I made bacon and eggs every morning at my dad's house and he grills steak a lot so I had a lot of steak person I was dating eats out a lot and we went to a lot of steak houses and I just ate steak constantly. I would occasionally add some greens or a baked potato and I would have like a handful of nuts in the mid afternoon but I was eating more carnivore than I was keto and not really on purpose and I was feeling great so gonna give it a go. So carnivore for about a month and then I'll add in pickles and ketchup and stuff like that like little condiment things that just make 
my eating experience more enjoyable, I want to see if it affects me at all. So um, every week I'll add something new in, see how it goes. On the days that I lift heavy weights, I will add in carbs. So I kind of stick to brown rice, oatmeal, and sweet potatoes when I'm doing carbs. Even a regular baked potato with sour cream and all the chives and bacon bits on it. I'll, I'll get that occasionally, but I don't eat like a ton of it. I'll just have it with my steak. So I just want to encourage you in the new year to love your body. Today I decided, hey, I'm gonna look cute and just feel cute. I was feeling kind of off, super addicted to sugar, start feeling bad about it, but life's too short to feel bad. Start feeling good now. I promise this happens every single time. The better I feel about myself, no matter where I'm at, the more likely I am to treat myself with good foods and just have a more positive energy around uh, my body image and all of that good stuff. Oh, hey friends. Oh yeah, get it, get it. People are having fun out on the lake today. I love to see it. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna have some really tan shins at the end of the day. I'm pretty happy about it. By the way, if you're ever traveling through Arizona, Lake Havasu is a wonderful place to stop. There's lots of wild camping. There is a Planet Fitness and it's near a Starbucks and a grocery store and you have all the amenities plus nature is just a few miles down the road. And then there's this beautiful place to park with all the lighthouses. There's lots of walking paths. I really do love it here. It gives me some much needed sunshine in the winter time. And you know how I need that vitamin D. And my friend Kaden just invited me to go van lifing in Colorado and she's such a snow bunny and I'm such a sunny bunny. So we'll have to meet up in the spring or in the fall apparently. All right. I'm gonna cook some food. So I gained a good solid 12 pounds from being sick because I was eating sugar. I was eating a lot more carbs like um, ramen noodles and oatmeal and just comfort foods and lots of lozenges. I just wanted candy and called it lozenges. I'm like, were there's original or lozenges, right? Totally. And here's what I've been eating the last couple weeks and I've already felt my body come back to homeostasis. I'm feeling a lot more energy, a lot more fit. My jeans are finally fitting again. They're getting a little snug there for a second. So here's some examples of the meals I have been eating lately. <laughs> Flying Dutchman from In-N-Out Burger with ketchup. Okay, these are some broke ass egg bites. They don't look that appetizing. I feel like I just need to break the seal. I need to break out my little propane burner and just use it once and then I'll be fine. I just, bleh, bleh. But I have all the groceries and I do not, I will not let them go bad. Oh, snossages, come on, are you done? Oh, snossages. How are you doing? I mean, this little griddle, it only takes what? What are we at? Eight watts? That ain't bad. Oh, and reason number four I want to do carnivore, it's just less ingredients. I know I'm going to eat every day, super easy. Throw it in a pan with some butter, cook it up. I also can batch cook. I like to eat cold steak with salt on it. I don't mind it at all, but I'll make some egg bites. I'll make bacon ahead of time. I can do like two cook days a week and just have leftovers and it'll just make it easier for me to stay on a healthy diet. We're gonna continue this conversation tomorrow in part two of this video. If you made it this far, write either snossages or lozenges down in the comments below and I'll write you back. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year and we'll see you tomorrow.